can I just say Dallas? I hear it a lot. You know what I'm saying? But everybody feel like you know somebody owns something or somebody you know. <sighs> What we just talking about that? Yes, it's called a sense of entitlement. Right. You know, I, like, I don't understand that. Because, like, we were talking about, like, you know, how we got a lot of greats, like Erica Badu. You know what I'm saying? On the podcast, we talk about this. And, like, I love Erica Badu. Shout I love, out to Erica. yeah, I love DOC. And, you know, and like I tell people, you know, just because you see somebody who make it, can't always come back to the city. You never know what they stipulations is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know. Just because you might see them on that big screen, don't mean they just. Millionaires. Yeah. And don't mean just because if they is millionaires, don't mean they can take a million dollars and come back and then build something that costs a million dollars and then be broke. Right. Right. And, and it, it could be stuff that's like in the background people don't even know about. Right. Like they could be donating some side money to whatever, which I'm sure they do. Right. And because nobody see it, now you want to judge that person because of that, because of right. your lack of knowledge of information. Right. You know, and that kills me. Because I see a lot of, like I, like I say, I, I tell a lot of people, if you... Like today, it ain't like how it was back then. When you can go get a Word Up magazine, yeah. When you can go get when you when you can be Ooh. at Flavor TV and know, source, get you know, source, you know what I'm saying? You know what they eat that Word Up. Like now, you really go. You gotta go follow these people. Yeah. You really gotta be like in their lives, really, to see what's really going on. Because there's a lot of people who look out, like just like the Longo, Erica Badu, or the Scarface. All of them was in Dallas. They did that uh that show. Yeah. That that uh that was that was live. And Gas Monkey. Yes, we did that show that right. Gas Monkey that night. That right. show was live. That was live. The row and everybody. Right, yeah. everybody was there. That was live. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I, and I tell a lot of like, especially like a lot of indie people who's in the house doing music, who's traveling. I'm like, man, you gotta think outside the box. It's not saying that you gotta change your music to be like that or to, you know, because a lot of people in Dallas, I, shoot, they'll follow that wave. Yeah. Instead of just staying in their pocket. You know what I'm saying? Really branding something. Yeah, that's what I'm on is branding. You know, that's 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 my main focus right now. Is is why I'm changing. It, it, it's why it's Polo World, right? And it's gonna be Polo Chronicles, and it's gonna be all from A to, to to from the ruler to the tooth. It's gonna be all called Polo Chronicles, and it's like want to do something different with somebody else, and I'm on their mixtape. But I probably I'm gonna be called Polo Chronicles. We're gonna keep it simple. You just tell me what volume that you like. Right. You know what I'm saying? Might be slow jam, Polo <laughs> Chronicle volume one. Right. Tiger, slow jam. You know what I'm saying? Eat your bitch volume yeah. one. You know? <laughs> Volume two, fuck it out. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Man. In the rain, whatever that you want to call it. They're going to be like in the trap, you know what I'm saying? In the street, that right. playing shit, whatever it is. They're going to have different different things so that people can just really just, just I just want to give people music, man, and just just give people music. Right, man. because that's what I think, I think that's what we lack. I think a lot of people focusing on what they think are stars and what they think is it right now instead of focusing on like what's really out there. Like, cause it's a lot out there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people who putting genuine music out there. It's like I be telling people, I'm like, man, look at man, Big Creek. Mm. Shout out to Big Creek. Shout out to Big Creek. Underestimated oh, artist, boy. Then I say, hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit, but I always knew that I would be.